And welcome to Generation X Youth Sports Network. Welcome to Generation X Youth Sports Network, brought to you by AG Sports. Rare city in the red, air in the gold. It's time for some 10U action. Stiff arm there, and he'll be tackled close to around the 30-yard line. This is where air will set up their offense. Of course, if you don't know the history of both of these teams, Rare City, a.k.a. Twin City, just last year removed as the national champ. The year before was the national champs of the youth national championship. So this year they make a quest come, to come back and challenge potentially the number one team in the nation, Georgia Eagles, and an, a, 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 a plethora of other 10 U's that have all thrown their hat in the ring to be claimed or want to claim the number one ranking or the number one prize you want to, want to say is the YNC National Championship. Hand off to the left-hand side. <clears throat> Strong run by air as they do a pitch left. Bringing up second and five for Air Academy. Thank you for tuning in to Generation X. Make sure you share the live. Stick with us all night as we bring you some exciting football, replays, HD action at the YNC all week. Hand off right hand side. Off tackle, makes a move. Still on his feet. He'll get some help from his teammates trying to push him a little bit forward. He'll be right at the sticks. And referees will say that's enough for a first down. So two plays, five yards a chunk. First and ten for Air Academy. So Air coming out trying to establish his run against this tough rear defense led by one of the premier defensive linemen in the country, number 44, Patrick. Hand off once again, and this time he'll be tackled by number 44 for a minimum gain, maybe a gain of one. That'll bring up second and nine. That looked like it was a slow developing play as the quarterback was able to run, uh, turn around and pivot and was able to be disrupted by number 44 of Rare City. So now they bring in the beef. They bring in number 52 at the defensive tackle. So this is when they expect run. They just really want to really uh, just run stop you, basically. These two big boys in the middle, it's going to be a lot to put some beef or some, some uh, hands to get that. As you can see right there, as I told you, they get swallowed up. And it's very physical. As you see, number 44. Just makes all type of collisions happen in the backfield. That's going to be a loss of three. And looks like a little confusion for Air right now. They'll call a timeout as they're trying to get their offense together. It's Rare City. It's Air Academy right here on Generation X Youth Sports Network. And incomplete on the play.
punch received. Comes back the other way. Flags on the play. And we might have a block in the back. C32 got behind number 43. So I think the ref saw that. Wishbone formation for Twin City. Double tight. Hand off to the left-hand side. Hit at the line of scrimmage. Not a lot of room there. Maybe a gain of one. So that's going to bring up second and around eight for Rare City. If you're just joining the broadcast, it's six minutes and two seconds left in the first quarter. Scoreless game. This is the first drive for Rare City. Power formation, handoff to the right-hand side. A lot of room there, keeps his feet. It's going to be a foot race. Stiff arm, and he's going to have enough to separate. And he gets all the way down, and it will be touchdown Rare City as they come out in blazing fashion off tackle right. And it was nothing but turbo booster there. And as number one was able to use his hands to keep the defender off him, was able to enough create separation as they go 56, excuse me, I want to say, yeah, 57 yards on a touchdown. Quick strike capability of Rare City with five minutes and 26 seconds in the first quarter. And extra point is good. So your score, ladies and gentlemen, eight to zero. Rare City goes over the air on their first initial drive. So Rare City has told us off camera that this is their year to get their bike back. And so they feel they have enough. They feel they're healthy at this time of this year to get back into the championship game. And they say, whoever you put in front of us, we're going to handle and stand on business. Kick is fielded close to around the 35-yard line. He'll turn up the corner. He'll get across the 40, and that is where Air will set up their offense for a second time with five minutes and 16 seconds in the first quarter. Score is 8-0, to zero, Rare City over Air Academy. Pitch to the right. Has a little room. Gets maybe a two-yard gain before he's escorted out of bounds between a host of Twin City players. It brings up second and eight for air.
Quarterbacks in shotgun. Hand off to 45. Right up the middle. Has some room. Breaks a tackle. Drags another player with him. Tough run by number 45. That'll bring up third and two for air. As they run in between the tackles against this rare city's defense. Third and short, quarterbacks and shotgun. Hands off to number three. Off tackle right here, and he's cut down. Looked like he had some room. The initial block from the offensive line was good, and it looked like he had some running room. But great linebacker play by Rare City as he cut his legs from underneath and bringing up fourth and short. Twin City shows blitz, throws across the middle, and it's caught. Comes back. And big game for air as they get close to around the 32-yard line on a 19-yard strike, pitch and catch. Moves the chains for air. Nice throw by the quarterback from air. Sends a play in motion. Quarterback rolls to the right. And, it, and I don't know if that was a designed play for the quarterback to try to get outside of this rear's defense. But I can tell you what, you may have to redraw that one up because it's going to take a lot more speed than that to get outside of that rear city's defense. You, you know, what I'm observing so far is that it looks like air's best uh, attack is just in between the tackles, and I know that sounds crazy playing up against number 44 and 36 and 52, but that's where their best success is because I can think I think they can match the size of the interior lineman. But clearly, this Rare City has a lot of speed on the edges, and that's not where they want to try to challenge Rare City on the edges of their defense. Quarterbacks and shotgun, hands it back up to number 45. Again, some success across the middle. And, and I think they'll just need to kind of stay on schedule to try to attack the interior of this Rare City's defense if they want to see some long-term success. Brings up third and long for, uh, for Air Academy. Air comes out, twins receivers to the top of the screen, one receiver to the bottom, quarterbacks and shotgun. Quarterback will look right and throw right, throws to the flats, gets across the line of scrimmage, but not much more then. Maybe a gain of five. Going to bring up like fourth and six for Air Academy. Decision time for him. The ball will be spotted close to around the 30-yard line. Will they try to pin Rare City back towards their own uh, goal line, or will they go for it here, fourth and six? Decision time, let's see what they call. And quarterback will come out of shotgun. They're rolling the dice early. Quarterback's going to call his own number again. And here we go with that play again, trying to get to the outside. And maybe they didn't hear me in the press box the first time. So I'm going to say it again. If you guys are going to try to attack rare with the quarterback draw to the edge, man, well, well, we'll let them figure it out. You know, let them figure it out. I, I, but I, I think that fourth down play, you got to draw up something a little bit better. Uh, and I don't know if the quarterback's hitting at full speed. You know, but you, you definitely need to hit at full speed against this rare. So turnover and downs. Got to be very careful here if you're air. You don't want to get this game out of control. You got to kind of pace yourself against a team like rare because you don't want to kind of get down early in this game. So handoff right up the middle. And very physical run by Rare City as they run in between the tackles. That's going to be about a gain of five. And Rare City, that's their, that's their MO right there. You know, they, they want to be, bring a lunch pail to work. 
run right in between the tackle, and they're happy with five yards, and then they'll get it to one of their quick guys to hit it for a home run. Handoff once again. Again, maybe four yards here, not much, but just trying to set the tone because they want to log it asleep, running in between the tackles, and then here comes that counter to the outside. So watch this very closely. Third and one. And that's going to be the end of the quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Your score is 8-0. to zero. First quarter action is in the books. Third and short. We'll flip side of the fields. When we come back, we'll have more Rare City Air Academy right here on Generation X Youth Sports Network. Quarterback on the center, hand off to the right-hand side, right up the middle, and that's going to be enough for the first down. They needed one yard, and they got three, so they'll move the chains. Nine minutes and 51 seconds. This is the start of the second quarter. Your score is 8-0, to zero, Rare City over air. Big run. And no one is going to catch him, and he'll get pushed out of bounds. But this is what I'm telling you. So they'll allow you to sleep with these big runs up the middle, big runs up the middle, and then hit you with a fast one on the outside. So it's like a combo heavyweight fighter, man. Hit you with some body blows, body blows, and the second that you go to cover up your ribs, you leave your chin exposed, and they'll hit you with the home run hit. Great blocking up front by number 44 on, at the tight end position. And when you got somebody that size really setting the edge for you, you can expect to get outside. Hand up right up the middle. And oh boy, this looks like it's going to be a long night for Air Academy as Rare City is in rare form. Early 16 to 0 with 8 minutes and 35 seconds in the second quarter. Ball is on the ground. And extra point is recovered in the end zone. It'll be good. So your score is 16-0. Rare City over Air Academy.
Eight minutes and 33 seconds in the second quarter. Ball is kicked off. Airfield it. They'll get to the 40 yard line. Still on his feet. And gets tackled like around the 43 yard line. And that is where Air will set up their offense. And big tackle by the defensive tackle of Rare City. And man, oh man, Bryce goes up, snatches it out the air, and brings it back the other way. Tips it to itself, brings it back. and gives his offense the ball an excellent field position inside of the 30-yard line. Ball spotted maybe around the 28. Maybe a gain of two. Uh, it's going to bring up second and eight. So they'll back up the rare city, unsportsmanlike. The number two ranked team in the nation, just behind the Georgia Eagles. These two teams have been two of the most dominant performing consistent teams, I want to say in the last couple of years. So it's going to take a lot to knock either one of these two teams off in their recent type of play, playing probably the best football they've played since putting the, their respective groups together. This Rare City team is a very physical team and a very big team. So you'll, you'll see them line up against the different opponents that they'll have this week as they go through what we call the 10U gauntlet, some of the best 10Us in the country. But 
keep your eyes on, of course, Georgia Eagles and this team right here, Rare City, as they've been dominant just by the physical type of play, football they play. Quarterback back to pass. He'll call his own number, stay on his feet, and he'll get tackled as he gets close to around the 35-yard line. Air shows blitz. And maybe a gain of three. Off tackle right to number one. That's going to bring up third and long for Rare City. Six minutes and, oh, excuse me, 55 minutes and 59 seconds in the second quarter. Score is 16 to zero. As Rare was able to jump out to an early start against this Air Academy defense and Air kind of Getting some of, the, some of that Georgia uh, power put on them right now, and they're just seeing how they can adapt to their offense. And it seems like the defense is trying to calm down, trying to read out, trying to find their, their reads against this strong offensive line. Quarterback back to pass. Has their tight end wide open, and he catches it still on his feet. And he'll run away with it as Bryce not only does it as a defensive lineman, but he just did it as... A tight end, number 44, showing his multi-purpose skill set he has here. And Rare City looking ahead to get back to the championship round as they come out early, swinging fast, often, and furious. Four minutes and 47 seconds, 22 to zero before the extra point attempt. And the extra point is good. So your score is 24 to zero. And guys, you know what that means. This will be an expedited game. One thing I will tell you, when you step off the plane, be ready. Kick is up, and let's see if Air can respond. He'll try to bob and weave his way to midfield, getting close to the 50-yard line. Ball probably marked around the 47, 48. Player in motion for air, quarterbacks and shotgun. He'll look to the flat, call his own numbers. Still on his feet. Breaks a play. Gets across the 40-yard line, so he'll move the chains for Air Academy. And Air is definitely going to need some bright spots inside of their offense as it's been all rare sitting.
Quarterback back to pass here, roll to the right, has a wide open receiver, and he catches it. Let's see if 13 can make a move, and he makes a move on him. And he's tackled at the five-yard line. So Air showing you some bright spots right now as they get inside of the five-yard line. Number 13 with some nifty moves. Or at the 10-yard line, excuse me, at the 10-yard line. And looks like we might have an injury timeout here. Back, back to pass, throws a screenplay, has some block, and they'll score. Air is in for a touchdown after a very well designed play. Screenplay let the defensive line, and that's what you have to do against a, an aggressive defensive line like Rare City. Let them come on in. You know, if they're going to be giving you that type of uh, uh, aggressive pursuit, let them come in, throw a screenplay. Very well executed play for Air. So touchdown air, 24 to six is your score, 58 seconds. Left in the third quarter, uh, excuse me, second quarter. You know, in those type of screen plays and, and changing your cadence, that's how you help your kids out when you're playing a very talented defense like Rare City. Quarterbacks and shotguns into player in motion. Oh, and he drops it. He takes his eyes off the ball. And it looks like it will be a false start call against this air offense. So it looks like they'll get to retry it. Back him up five yards for the point after attempt. Quarterbacks and shotgun. Three wide receivers to the top of your screen. One wide receiver by himself. Quarterbacks and shotgun. He'll look back. He'll roll to his right. They'll throw across the wide receiver and incomplete. So extra point will be no good. Your score is 24-6. Air is now on the board. Let's see if that momentum from Air's offense can now move over to the defense and slow down this rare city offense.
Onside kick. Oh, and he looks like he has some momentum, and nobody's going to get in front of him. That was a mistake if I ever seen it. That onside kick caught air offside. <laughs> That caught them off guard. The onside kick, I think they should have let Aaron know about it because it took one hop, and they were off to the races. You want to take a look at that play. As the one hop, he feels it right in stride. And, man, just as Air was able to come down there and, you know, get their score and kind of feel good about themselves and get back into the game, they onside kick it, and the rest is history. Take a look at this play here. They lose containment some type of way, kick it right to him. They all run to the outside. He takes a step to the inside, and they're all trailing him. And the rest was a foot race. Twin City increases their lead to 32 to 6. So we're at the half. We'll see you back when we come back. More action between Rare City Air, 32 to 6 is your score, right here on Generation X, powered by AG Sports.
Strong run to the left hand side for air. Gets him probably like around a, I want to say a second and four. Eight minutes and nine seconds in the third quarter. Completed pass for air. That is enough to move the chains as they get across midfield. off right up the middle physical run a gain of one that's going to be about second and nine six minutes and 41 seconds left in the third quarter scores 32 to six rare city in rare form as they're trying to get back to the national championship game, the number two uh, ranked team in the nation, really showing you why they have been playing head and heels above the competition. Quarterback back to pass. Screenplay once again. And he threw it with a little bit too much of a hard arc. Couldn't get there. Throws it out to the flats. Breaks one tackle. Incomplete on the play. And that's going to be turnover on downs. And a strong run right up the middle for Rare City. That's going to be about an eight-yard game. Should bring up like second and two. Hand off right-hand side. And that's going to be enough for the first down. He needed two yards and got about three and a half. Moves the sticks for Rare City. Three minutes and 24 seconds left in the third quarter of this contest. As the Rare City 
has this game well in control. They are vowing to get back to the championship game, but of course they'll need to continue this. Like I said, it's not a sprint. They'll need to continue this marath uh, marathon to get back to championship game, which will be held on Saturday for 10 and under. Cut it back, back to pass. Wide open receiver. Five as he was able to break back on the ball. Nice defensive uh, play by number five from air. So two minutes and 44 seconds in the third quarter. Well defended pass. Hand off left hand side. He'll be gang tackled or close to around the 38 yard line. Point is up. Court on the fly, and he's going to get tattooed at the 30 yard line. So he sacrificed one for the team there as he didn't want the ball to go back the other way. And we got some extra flags and extra curriculum stuff going on here. So they got to be very careful here because there's a zero tolerance here at YNC, and especially for a team like Rare. If you get an ejection, you're going well, for you the great remaining yeah. of the, week, I'm the like, national yeah, championship brunch. Hey, you got to be thinking uh, with a level head at all times.
Hand off left hand side, has some room, still on his feet, makes another cut. Gets close to the first down markers and he will have enough to move the chains. As he gets across midfield. Or close to midfield, I should say. Hand off right up the middle. And complete pass. Seven minutes and 17 seconds left in this contest. The score is 32 to 6. It's been all rare city as they have their eyes on the prize to get back to the championship game. Starts here game one against Eric Adam. Quarterback back to pass for air, for air. Still on his feet. Picks up some blocks. Some nifty moves. Gets across to the first down markers and that'll be enough to move the chains once again for air. <laughs> air is out there in a hurry up offense. They're trying to get the offense set up. Incomplete pass. Throws it, and his receiver stopped running his route, but he was wide open as this quarterback for air is really extending the plays with his legs and trying to make things happen.
Quarterback scrolls to the right. He's going to make a race to the end zone. And big collision right at the goal line. And let me tell you, that was like two battle Rams connecting. And stopped him right there, dead in his tracks. Going to bring up, oh, that's going to call a touchdown. So a point after attempt. Air trying to keep it a little respectable as a late score in the fourth quarter. No quit in this team. And the extra point is no good. So your score is 32 to 12. as Air scores a late score into the fourth quarter. And coming up next, right here on Generation Next, powered by AG Sports, Georgia Eagles, the number one ranked 10U team in the country, will be taking on Treasure Coast. And onside kick once again. And looks like that might do it, ladies and gentlemen, as the clock is winding down in 24 seconds. Your score here, 32 to 12, Rare City over Air Academy, round one. It's in the history books, guys. Rare City moves on. Air moves into the consolation rounds. Next up, Georgia Eagles, Treasure uh, Coast, right here on Generation X Youth Sports Network. <laughs> 